Hey guys, it's Amanda. I'm finally back with a creative video and it feels great. Today I'm sharing how I made these fun diagonal gatefold cards. I made one for my fiance's 30th birthday and we both loved how it turned out. All right, let's get right into it. I'm starting off by taking a piece of purple cardstock and cutting it down to five and a half by six and one eighth inches. Next, I take a ruler and mark at 7 8 inches in from the top left. Then I flip it and do the same thing except make a mark at 1 inch. Once I have my marks, I use my ruler to draw a diagonal line between the two. Now, as you may have guessed, I cut along the line so I end up with two pieces. I use my paper trimmer for this, but scissors would work just as well. After I erase my pencil marks, I grab my scoreboard and score at 3 quarters of an inch in from the straight edge, and I do this for both sides. If you don't have a scoreboard, you could always use something like the back of a butter knife and a ruler. Here I'm creasing the score lines, making sure they're folded in the right direction, because we're going to be adhering these to the back of a 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half inch card panel. To attach them, I'm just using my tape runner along the straight edge, making sure not to get any on the creases. Then I line up the panel with the crease and fold the side in, making sure to snip off that little extra piece of cardstock. I run my bone folder over the card several times to help crease it down so the flaps don't pop open as much. Here I'm just trimming off any excess with my paper trimmer, but again, you can use scissors if you want to. Now it's time to decorate it. I chose to use pink, blue, and an opalesque glitter cardstock. I'm obsessed with stripes, so I'm cutting several strips of each so they are half an inch wide. Once I have a bunch of strips cut out, I start sticking them to the flaps using my tape runner. I start on the top left flap because it will partially be tucked behind the bottom one, and I can use the edge to butt the strip right up to it. That helps make sure the stripes are slanted at the same angle as the flaps. I cover the entire bottom half, but make sure to only add two strips on the top because I want to leave a blank space up there for the numbers I'll be using to indicate the age the recipient is turning. Once the strips are adhered, I trim the excess, then I take some number dies and cut the number 10 from the same blue cardstock. I got these dies from my Tim Holtz Sidekick Bundle, but if you don't have these, number stickers or stamps would also look great. I stuck these down using multimedia matte adhesive and placed the card under some acrylic blocks while it dries. For the final step, I take a white A2 size card panel and stick it on the back to cover up the purple flaps. This is optional, I just think it gives it more of a finished look and it also makes the card a little more sturdy. Another optional step is to add a teeny tiny bit of tape runner adhesive to the very bottom corner and then remove some of the tack by dabbing it several times with your fingers. This helps keep it closed and by dabbing it with your fingers, it ensures it won't tear the cardstock when the card is opened. All right, that's it. Here's the card I made for my fiance, the one that inspired this video. I also made a grayscale one, but instead of doing numbers, I added a heart. This style of card is so fun to make and surprisingly easy to put together. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to stick around for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions or requests, please leave a comment down below. All of the products I used in this video are listed in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!